Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Hi, Valder. Good day. Who do I have on the line? Monique Coleman. Well, thank you so much, Monique. Thank you for joining me here live in Dallas, Texas on the Valder BB Show. Thank you for having me. Let me ask you, what do you know that we need to know? Oh, that's a good question. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well a lot of times people are eating fast food, and they, you know, know that that's not the healthiest option. But what people may not realize is that your salad might actually be having a lot more hidden calories than you realize. It's really easy to take a salad that started out at 400 calories and quickly hike it up to 1,200 calories just by adding some simple things like the high-fat dressing, croutons, cheese, nuts, and things like that. So I'm really passionate, actually, about healthy eating, and so I've come up with what I call the perfect salad equation. Okay, and that would be? Well, it's simple, for starters, because I'm not great at math. So it's only three quarters to one quarter. Three quarters of your salad is going to want to be your mixed vegetables, your collards, your kale, your tomatoes, onions, green peppers, cucumbers, things like that. And then the other quarter of your salad, that's where you're going to want to combine your lean protein, your chicken. If you're vegetarian, that's black beans or tofu. You're going to combine that with your complex carbohydrate, like quinoa or wheat berries. And then you really want to make sure that you don't use more than, say, two tablespoons of your good healthy fats, like sliced avocado or olive oil. And you can always mix that in with any fresh herbs. Fresh herbs do not add any of the calories, but they add all of the flavor. Because eating healthy does not have to be boring. Well, that makes it exciting. I want to let my guests know, my audience know today, that Monique Coleman, she, you remember her from High School Musical, and she has a passion, they say, for salad. I for do. Vegetables. For healthy eating, <laughs> definitely. Well, great. Okay. So tell me some more ideas. Well, one thing that you really want to do is you want to make sure that you're getting a lot of variety. So many of us, I've, been, I've done this myself, will stick to kind of eating the same things. But I actually read a study recently that done by University College in London saying that people who eat seven, uh, seven servings of vegetables or more a day, 48% of those people live longer. And I think we all want to live longer. So you're going to want to make sure that you're buying a mixture of fruits and vegetables that are also in season. Just last summer, I had a chance to visit the farm in, where nature's greens and versatile veggies are grown. And I have to say, when you eat fruits and vegetables that are in season, you really get more nutritional value. Okay. What do you mean? So a lot of fruits and vegetables we get are coming from out of the um, a country. So what yes. do you mean by in well, season? Collard greens are always in season. And that's why I really love Nature's Greens and Versatile Veggies is because you don't have to worry about that. You're getting fruits and vegetables that are always in season. And, you know, we all have a very busy lifestyle. So we recommend that you are just Go ahead and buy the pre-cut, pre-washed veggies like the ones you see here. I personally, I love kale, collard greens. I mix them with everything. That I'm, you know, I'm from South Carolina, so that's a real big part of my diet. And you also want to make sure that during this healthy food craze, that we're not just 
only thinking about these fruit smoothies as being healthy. A lot of times these fruit smoothies are packed with so much extra sugar, so I really recommend that you make your smoothies at home. I have a recipe for my own kale smoothie that's delicious, and you can find that on the website, rawl.net, and that's R-A-W-L.net. Okay, you make a kale smoothie. What, what makes it taste good? Because... <laughs> I, 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 can't, I can't see just kale by itself tasting really good. Well, I can understand. I can understand that. And I wouldn't, I don't think I would just, you know, blend up some kale. I probably would eat it fresh in that, in that instance. But, you know, it's really simple to take your kale and add a couple of frozen vegetable or frozen fruits like say peaches, strawberries, those are some of the things that I use in my kale smoothie. And you'd be surprised at the how delicious it is when you take that kale and you mix it with some of your citrus fruits. It's, it's actually quite delicious and really an easy way to get in your vegetables, especially if you're not a huge fan of greens, then that's a, I say drink them. You can drink them, you don't always have to eat them. Well, that makes sense because that'll <laughs> give it the sugar that it needs to balance it out. Can you tell me where can my audience find out how to make their own smoothies or yes. more information about fresh vegetables? Yes, well, I have a blog and you can go to rawl.net R-A-W-L dot net. And if they're on social media, they can follow the hashtag Eat Mo Greens. This has been fascinating. I'm awesome. not a smoothie girl. I've been thinking about being one. So okay. you've given me a little bit of inspiration here. Awesome. Well, check out the website and let us know what you think. Monique Coleman, I really thank you so very much. And what are we going to see you next on the bigger little screen? Well, um, I have some projects coming up this year, and I'm sure you'll see my face there soon. We'll be looking for you. Thank you so very much. You Great. have such energy. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Take care.